Hey guys, it is 2 a.m. I started editing this video with Brian and I actually could not stop because we had such a great conversation. This video I also recovered from my hard drive and I think it's a need to watch type of video. Today what I do is talk to Brian about his story about how he became a pharmacist. Now a lot of time, sometimes we just think that when you set a goal or just go to pharmacy school, it's just a straight line. You just do well in your PCATs, do well in school, and everything just works out. Well, just like me, Brian went through a very similar stage in life where he messed up pretty bad, right? And it's about his journey, how he overcame his gaming addiction and turned it into something positive. I know a lot of you guys watching this video Maybe you're not valid Victorian of your class, or maybe you're on academic probation like I was. If this is you, you'll probably really enjoy this story, and hopefully it will help you do the Mada Hustle, guys. Guys, enjoy this video. Peace, guys. Hey, what up, guys? Welcome to another Ask Kevin Yee. Today, I have a special guest, uh, my friend Brian. He did his PGY2, and he's an informatics pharmacist. But today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic and how Brian's addiction to gaming got him into pharmacy school. So how did your addiction to gaming get you into pharmacy school? So this is a great topic that Kevin has suggested. I am actually a huge gamer. I, I think I've been playing games since I was three years old. I started playing the Magic School Bus <laughs> back in like... Windows 95, it was like the best thing ever. So I, I, I grew up on games, I've been playing games forever. And so I think the one of the big things with how this influenced me getting to pharmacy school was in undergrad, you know, you had to pick a major basically. I think you had to have a major chosen by your second year. The big thing at that time was pharmacy. So I had chosen pharmacy as my major and I was like, all right, chose my major, I'm gonna go back to gaming. And at the time, the game that I was super addicted to, I think, Many people were. It was World of Warcraft. So. Oh, what? Oh, you play <laughs> WoW and stuff? Okay. Yeah. I played WoW. I actually skipped school back in high school to buy it, that game, too. What? But, uh, yeah, it was, I've been playing that game since the beta. I, I played so, so many hours of that game. I actually got a free week last month and I was playing a little bit, too. But. I went to engineering <laughs> school and that game ruined so many lives, dude. A lot of people like failed out of school because of that game and stuff. Yeah, I, that game is bad news, but but it's really fun though. Did you play uh, Horde or Alliance? Oh, I gotta play Horde. Yeah. Did, you play, did you play Horde? No, I didn't. I never played WoW. <laughs> oh. I was really into Warcraft Three a lot. That was my game. Really? Yeah, I was really into Warcraft Three. That shit was fun. Warcraft Three was like my game, yeah. and then Warcraft World of Warcraft came out, uh, so I switched over. But. Did you, did you play competitively? No, I fucking sucked at gaming. I was really bad. The only games I used to play were Warcraft 3, Counter-Strike, obviously Diablo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Those are main games I played and some casual games too. But during that time, so you all, you were playing WoW. How did how did that affect your uh, whole pharmacy school decision? <laughs> uh, so I, I just remember I took pride in skipping school. I think every single day was literally just World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft, and all I did was eat, sleep, and game. I, I remember in my dorm room, the pizza boxes just like kept <laughs> growing and growing because I never left my dorm. Um, it was it was bad. I was like the classic stereotype of like those gamers. Did your friends play with you, or is it, was it just like by yourself? Initially, it was just by myself. Um, so I had friends, you know, in the game and stuff, but. Yeah. When I got to college, I was like, I got to recruit. I need some, I need some more friends. Yeah. So yeah, I, I got a lot of my friends to play and a lot of my good friends to play. Unfortunately, I think because of the game, I got them really addicted as well. And you know, it was bad. It it, it influenced you know their school. You know, obviously everyone was like skipping class. Mm -hmm. I remember one of my friends actually quit his job because he didn't show up to work because he wanted to do a raid. He was raiding in the game. Oh my god. So it, it was bad, very bad influence. All my friends, you know, a lot of my friends were doing bad in school and, you know, they, they were even deciding, you know, maybe I shouldn't play this game anymore. 
And I was like, what, why would you stop? You know, it's, it's so fun. And then for me, it, it hit me one time because, you know, second year came around, I had my major and then, you know, that's the year usually you start applying for pharmacy school because you don't have to have your four, your, your bachelor's essentially, right? You're going the three year route basically. Yeah, like yeah, so I was, I was, yeah. I was gonna do the three year route. So I was like, all right, let me, I gotta take my PCAT. I gotta, you know, uh, start seeing what the requirements are for pharmacy school and you know, what, what is pharmacy school? I didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't even know what this is about. Yeah. So, so I was like, all right, cool. Let me register for the PCAT. I did that. Uh, let me buy this book for the PCAT. So I had this PCAT book, uh, I think it was from Kaplan. And I was like, all right, I, I think I need to study maybe like a month or something, something like the SAT, something like that. And at that time, Call of Duty just came out, like right at that time. <laughs> yeah, it was like the best one too. I think it was Modern Warfare 3. Oh, or did, did you ever play Black Ops or anything? I did. I wasn't that good at it, so I quit. But <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm super competitive at games. So I'm so for me, right, even now, I either play or I don't play because I'm just super addicted. Yeah. Uh, so I stopped playing Black Ops, but I was playing that new Call of Duty though. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was it was fun, uh, and it, it was like perfect timing with my PCAT because yeah. I was like, you know what, um, Call of Duty is fun. I, I was playing that every day. I didn't study at all, and it was like I remember it was like a week left uh, until the PCAT. And one of my friends that was studying for the PCAT came over to my my apartment. And was like, Yo, what are you doing, man? We're supposed to be studying for the PCAT. I thought you were going to the library. I was like, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so I ultimately ended up, you know, going to the PCAT and completely winging it. I did not study at all. So it you was did, you did you barely even opened your Kaplan book at all. Barely. I I think I read the introduction. It was probably about it. It was it was bad news. But you know, I was just like, you know what? My mindset at that time was just like, I'll take the PCAT, see how I do apply to pharmacy school, see if I get accepted. It can't be that hard, right? It's just pharmacy school, it's not that hard. <laughs> so I was like, okay, okay, let me let me take this PCAT. So I took the PCAT, I got my score, and I got a 68 percentile. What? And I was like, and, and like what, which subject, like math or English or? Overall, I don't even know if I should even say my reading. It was like, I think it was like a 30 or 40 percentile. Dude, when I took my PCAT, I don't know how the fuck I ended up doing this, but I got like a like a three percent or whatever a three on, like, on what, dude, what section uh it was like the english like one of the english sections i was like no fucking way dude like i must have oh, bubbled in you probably like did like yeah, yeah out of order or something i was like holy fuck i i, I thought i was okay <laughs> at english you know I, mean? yeah. I took latin and shit but man i was like fuck but i know exactly how you felt that right there you know is the main reason i was like oh shit i I might not get in pharmacy school. I, I don't know. What I would I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. Um, you know, I can't just play games. I don't. I don't get enough money for for gaming. Yeah. This light came on. I was like, maybe I need to study a little bit. And it, it's so interesting because that was like the biggest pivotal shift in my life. Everyone knew me before as someone who skipped school, played games, didn't do anything, didn't care about school, and then. In my third year, my sister actually lived with me. She just came, came to college and she was like, why do you study so much? Uh, and I, I think there's like that, that huge, big, you know, change in my life. Cause I was like, I, I didn't want to fail. You know, I didn't want to be a bum for the rest of my life after college. And I just kind of uh, focused really hard and I started caring about school. I started going to study, uh, study hours, office hours. I was, uh, just doing more research in general. And I just was very driven at that time because I was so scared of failing at life. And I think it's very interesting that you talk about like this because actually hearing your story, I really resonate with it because I think there I wasn't, I was into gaming and stuff. I was pretty addicted, but in college, I kind of sort of got myself off gaming. But there was a point in my life where I bought my PCAT I also like was on academic probation and stuff at one point. Oh wow! And um, I just had this pivotal change, like you're you're saying, like mindset wise. And I was like, damn, if I don't change, I'm gonna have to suck some dick on the street for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know what? I'm you don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm straight. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. do that. But yeah. you gotta make ends meet somehow. But I think it's really cool um, 
how you're telling the story and I think a lot of the people watching actually really relate a lot, you know? Because people a lot of time think it's like, oh, get to pharmacy school like, and completing it is just like a straight line. But sometimes like we run into these barriers and stuff and like in our earlier video, you're talking about how your match didn't work out and stuff like that. So you're just studying a lot more. Did anything else change during that time? I, I think number one was actually going to class. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, and I'll give a good example of how bad it was. I remember going to class one time. It was a class for geography. It was yeah. like brand new. I went to the first day of class and then the next time I went, I remember sitting down and I was like, wow, a lot of people actually attend class. I was like, you know, I didn't know that so many good college students are here. And I was like, you know, what's going on? I asked the dude next to me, I was like, you know, what's going on? And he's just like, you don't know? And I was like, no. And he was like, oh man, you're fucked. <laughs> and he was like, we have a test today. I was like, oh damn. I didn't even look at the stuff. So that number one thing I did was just basically go to class uh, and then study. I actually got, I guess my addiction to gaming turned into addiction to studying. So I would, I started staying at the office hours for one of my classes, anatomy, mm -hmm. uh, every day from open to close. And I was studying for all these other classes at the same time. Um, and it just led to a really good path academically because because I did that people started noticing I was in the lab all the time I was studying and they actually made me a TA for anatomy because mm -hmm. I was there all the time I think it's really cool because a lot of gamers actually go through something like this like and wow like you have to grind you know you yeah you're always grinding for items and stuff but in some weird way like it's basically you take that skill in life like grinding and stuff but you just apply it to a regular school because what if you think about it what exactly is a gpa it's a game dude you're just trying to get the most points in mm -hmm. these different fields so i think it was pretty cool how you could uh transition through that as well as for like when you're in farm school did you like did you like completely cut gaming off that's a pretty good question i did initially i always have these like little <laughs> you, know, you get you get a little um you miss it sometimes you know mm -hmm. i think in my second year i got a little sucked in a bit but it was because i i couldn't stand the fact that I, all i did was study at mm -hmm. the time i was just like so addicted to studying so i forced myself to like do other things and one of them was gaming it never came back in full force to like pre-pharmacy days stuff like that but it does sounds like you never uh played games in pharmacy school or did you i tried not to because i have a very addictive personality and so for me um i would actually watch a lot of streams so i don't really oh, yeah play it, but I watch a lot of streams. that's how i know like a lot of the gaming stuff these days you know i think earlier you were talking about how fuck i forgot where i was going for this uh this part is definitely getting cut <laughs> do you play any sort of games like right now uh yeah i do i actually took a hiatus for the probably the very first time in my life yeah uh, since starting my job here. I, I probably touch games like once every couple months and every one of my gamer friends uh, have been bugging me about this brand new game that just came out. And it's actually right here. <laughs> <laughs> that Overwatch hype. That Overwatch game. Yeah. Um, oh God. I bought the game yesterday. I was so excited. I came home, plopped it into my computer and my computer can't run it. <laughs> so, it's just, my computer is too outdated. It's a really fun game. So I still, I guess I technically don't really play as much. I'll just go on maybe like for an hour or less once every couple months, but I don't really play as much anymore. There's just so many better things you can do with your time than playing games. But a little, little bit of time is always okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, if you, got, if you guys got any more questions for me or Brian, please comment below or you can check out his YouTube if you want. You can follow me, but uh, hopefully we'll see more of Brian. He's a really good resource and it's pretty crazy how he went from gaming addict to like a uh, freaking through his PGY2 and now he's a informatics pharmacist. So guys, thank you for watching. Peace, guys. I right, see so you guys. If you, if anyone has Overwatch, you know, feel free to add me. I'll be <laughs> maybe playing. I'll, maybe I'll put your tag right here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can play with that you. works. <laughs> Once you finish, you can pay off your loans in like two, three years, no problem. <laughs> um, you can save a bunch of money, buy my nice clothes, nice shoes, nice purses. 
Well, when you get out and you actually do get a job, I mean, yes, you're very excited, but 